Lee Hennessy. Lee Hennessy is a two-time double mini trampoline world champion and won a silver medal in synchronized trampoline at the 1976 World Championships. She was the first athlete, male or female, to win all three trampoline events at the national championships. From 1978 to 92, she was listed in the Guinness Book of World Records with the highest double mini trampoline score in international competition. Lee was honored by the International Trampoline Federation in 1982 for her contribution to the sport. Lee Hennessy graduated summa cum laude from the University of Southwestern Louisiana with a bachelor's degree in speech and audiology in 1980 and earned her master's degree with honors in communications two years later. She now lives in Van Nuys, California and is a movie stunt woman and a former writer for Glenn Sudby Publications. Ladies and gentlemen, Lee Hennessy. I tell Carl that I can't find my toes. And also, I, can, I, didn't, I don't want my reading glasses. So <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just a few weeks ago, I put on this long, stringy wig and carried this fake knife in my hand and <clears throat> hurled up to a staircase banister. I performed a handspring vault over it, going dropping 15 feet into a space that was only five feet by eight feet wide, and landing flat on my stomach, perfect 10. <clears throat> and it wasn't for the latest event in the geriatric X Games. It was for a movie. But since it was unrehearsed, I remember vividly thinking in my head, this is really dumb. <laughs> But that's a, that's a new observation about my mental stability, because finally, after all these years, I've become wise. That's today. But um, back when we were competing in trampoline, as a young and strong athlete with no responsibilities in the world, I didn't realize that uh, what I could do was incredible in any way. And you remember when you competed, <clears throat> that we were completely invulnerable. We compared ourselves to our opponents and we thought, I can be better. It's our nature to be competitive, but, it's ex it's ex uh, but to be extraordinary in something, at anything to justify all the time and the effort that goes into what you're doing, you have to really love it. It's such a joy and a wonder that you always ask yourself, could there possibly be anything better in the world for me? And the answer is there wasn't. There wasn't then, and there's not now. And the reason I say now is because like all the inductees in this Hall of Fame now, our athletic experience has created such a positive impact in our lives. <clears throat> it's an impact that carries us throughout our lives. And for this, I owe a lot of people a debt of gratitude. Too many to mention. I wish I had a few hours. Oh, I see some faces back there. Um, but I'm going to start with the most obvious. I'd like to thank the Academy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so important. Okay. Um, the nominating committee. I'd like to thank the nominating committee for, for putting me on the list. I was such, such honored and so flattered to be included in such a prestigious and talented group of people who have done so much of their lives. Um, I question their judgment, but I'm really happy to be here. Um, but uh, um, very important would be my dad, or coach, or Jeff, or Mr. Hennessy, or Coach Hennessy, or anointed one, whatever you call him. <laughs> he was the force behind my athletic career. <clears throat> to him, world champion was not an unattainable, uh, unimaginable goal. It was as normal as going to the prom. It's just something we do. We trained, we traveled, and we met friends all over the world. It was a life we learned to expect, we being my family. And it was the best life I can imagine. It's not over yet. It's the best childhood I can ever imagine. And I, I can't imagine living any other way. And then there's mom, my mom. As you can imagine that a father coaching the daughter, especially during those adolescent times, can be a little bit trying. Uh, 
but mom or as people know Ruth or Miss Hennessy or Ruthie or Rudy Tootie as um, she's a rock. She's a great mediator. It's a job. Incredibly appreciated. Then I have a brother and sister. Their name is Jeff and Kay, but we, they were children. They were cowboy and KK. They are the supportive siblings that you could never dream of. They were the best. They're my closest friends and allies all these years and still today. But outside the family, uh, there's a few I need to thank, but uh, I'm going to have to do it quickly because there's just too many. Um, and start, I'm going to start with Mr. Nissen or George Nissen or whatever you're, however you know him. I always call him Mr. Nissen for the uh, sponsorships and the support he gave us. And because of him, I got to take some incredibly unforgettable, life-changing international trips. Um, they, and then the organization, this organization, USAG, there was USA t and um, AAU, and there's so many organizations I competed in as, as growing up in my career. And without them, they're, you know, they provided the opportunity and the direction for thousands of athletes to achieve their goals and get to do the things that they always dreamed of doing. And they gave us an avenue in which to do that. And then when I moved here to California, there's a gentleman named Robert Noll who encouraged me to compete again after 11 years of retirement. It seemed a bit frivolous at the time, a bit nuts, but I was just starting my uh, Hollywood career, my stunt career, and there was really nothing better I could have done. It reminded me how to push my personal limits, which is imperative in my job. And finally, Donald Waters. <laughs> I didn't call it over my hand. Um, he was a, a synchro champion years ago, and my dad asked him to start coaching the team when I was a teenager. And Donald passed away in 1999 from a heart attack. And now the day goes by that something in my life is impacted, or is it a reflection on him? So it's an honor to be inducted in the USAG Hall of Fame with so many outstanding classmates. Thank you.